you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They're all for Marcy. God love you, kiddo. You're the best. Before I began, I want to just point out I was having a just... So Nancy Pelosi and many other Democrats are now criticizing Republicans for taking credit for the infrastructure spending. Lawmakers have also just agreed to throw in three new social security changes that will take effect this year. So there is a ton of information about the Ford stimulus payments folks that you want to know. So you want to be sure to stay until the end of this video to find out the latest stimulus news. Carrie, Carrie Job, uh, you're the voice of an angel, kid. I tell you what, you really do. And uh, that guy sitting next to you. So everybody, the third stimulus check was sent out to eligible Americans starting back in March of 2021. So now the IRS is saying this. They have now sent out all qualified payments and they say some families may still be leaving money on the table. The IRS has announced that parents or a child of a child born or added to the family in 2021 is going to be eligible to receive some $1,400 stimulus check. But you are entitled to receive it if you apply for it. The IRS recently started sending out explanatory letters to those who did not receive, who did receive the third payment, which breaks down how much you've gotten and whether you can qualify for more. However, for those who didn't receive a payment this year, there's still a way to go. All you have to do is look at the following questions. Is there a new child in the family and did the family income change drastically? If the answer is yes to any of these questions, then good thing is that you qualify for it. The IRS has reported that it sent out 175 million third round payments last year, which totaled more than $400 billion. For those who received the child tax credit payments last year as well, a separate letter is also being sent out to those families as well. The recovery bay credit must also be filed as part of your 2021 tax return. Uh, and a proud daughter of Ohio, Secretary of Housing and Urban Affairs, uh, um, Marcy, Marcia Fudge, uh, who's represented the district as well. And Mitch Lander, who's leading implementation of our infrastructure worry. Mitch, they don't know anybody from New Orleans down here. He used to be the mayor of New Orleans, and uh, I called him. He, mayors know how to get things done, as the mayor will tell you here. And I called him, asked him to pump him. Would he be the hands-on guy to actually implement the law? Implement it get it done and let people know how they can access it. And, uh, and Brenda, Brenda Malloy, Chair of our Council of Economic Quality. Brenda, where are you? There you are. Thank you, Brenda. We rode up together on the aircraft together, and it's great to have you as well. I also asked to say hello from someone who you know in Lorraine, but uh, couldn't be here today. Uh, a tremendous fighter and uh, Ohio for Ohio workers and a guy who could easily be standing where I'm standing right now, Sherrod Brown. Yeah. <laughs> Sherrod Brown working in the Senate, keeping an eye on those other teams, that other team, see what's going on. It's good to see you, Congresswoman Chantel Brown. Where are you, Chantel? I said, there you go, right in the front there. Congratulations, and it's great to, great to have you here. And, uh, and of course, Marcy, Marcy Captor. Uh, Marcy has not only made history as the longest serving woman in the history of the House of Representatives, every day she's making a difference. She never, ever slows up. And she's helping this region compete, <clears throat> thrive, and come back. You know, uh, that's what I want to talk a little about today. <coughs> Excuse me. The historic investment we're going to make to restore the Great Lakes, lakes strengthen the region's economy, provide clean drinking water, clean up our communities, and create good-paying jobs.